And we're back again at the, again, temporarily closed Lake Superior Railroad Museum here at the St. Louis County Depot in downtown Duluth. And another one of our behind the scenes video tours. The last time we were shut down, we did one of these every single day for a hundred days. And now we have over a hundred of them in the can. We have literally done every piece of equipment in the museum, except for the one I'm going to show you today. And I'll tell you the reason for that in a minute. But I was thinking, 1948, what were some of the things that happened in 1948? AT&T came out with a revolutionary new idea that they called the car phone. It was the first one out and they thought, well, we'll put them in cars and that'll be the end of it. AT&T, you were ahead of the times and then you missed the times. Cell phones are everywhere. In 1948, the bikini, how scandalous, was being sold for the very first time in Paris, France, kind of figures. And in 1948, the baby boom generation was just beginning to be born. As was this piece of equipment I'm going to show you today. From the North Coast Limited on the Northern Pacific Railway, the Rainier Club Car, number 390. And as I was saying, we've done a video on every piece of equipment in the collection, except this one. And the reason is, it wasn't here the last time we were shut down. It was in Escanaba, Michigan, at the Escanaba and Lake Superior Railway where one of our board members who owns that railroad donated a brand new paint job and the bodywork to completely restore the car. We're gonna finish that work and we'll tell you about it right now. 1948, the Northern Pacific was running the North Coast Limited and they decided to streamline the entire consist. That's when they bought this car from Pullman Standard. In April 29, 1900, they started the North Coast Limited. It ran from originally St. Paul all the way to the West Coast. And in 1911, they added Chicago. So you could go from Chicago through the Twin Cities all the way to the West Coast. But something happened in 1948. They decided to streamline the whole train and add a brand new invention, the Vista Dome. Vista Dome cars were very popular and they equipped the consist of the particular train, North Coast Limited, with those brand new Vista Domes and this brand new car as well. It's the Rainier Club car. It's going through a restoration. The trip, by the way, from Chicago all the way to the West Coast in 1950, it was 58 and a half hours. That wasn't competitive though. And in 1952, they speeded it up to 46 and a half hours. This train was really moving. Let's go inside and see what we're working on. The original configuration of the car was one compartment and four doubles. This was known as a sleeper lounge. It was both a sleeper car for first class passengers and they got to use a very nice lounge. And this was the end of the train. This was the tail car. So you had this beautiful view from the lounge area. Each compartment, of course, would convert from day use into sleeper use. The sleeping areas were both for day use with chairs, but then of course they would fold down into a bed and another bed, a bunk, would come out of the ceiling. These two are put together as a double and of course with this folding wall, a family could travel together in this car. They built six of these cars and the real feature of it was this incredible lounge at the end of the train. Imagine clipping along at speeds up to 90 miles an hour and you had this beautiful panoramic view here at by the train. Now, obviously we're under construction because we've still got some remodeling to do. We've got, uh, well, <laughs> we're gonna put the windows back first. <laughs> Boy, that's a clean window. This lounge area was very popular with the first class passengers. And it looked originally like this with chairs along the walls. And then in 1953, they hired famed industrial designer Raymond Lowy. And Raymond Lowy came up with the famous Raymond Lowy paint scheme, the livery that you see on the car, the different shades of green with that white stripe. Which, by the way, as you can see in this photo, the Raymond Lowy design, he chose these colors in this particular scheme for a reason. The darker color on top represented the trees along the North Coast Limited route, and the lighter green, the grass down below. It had a reason. Lowy also redesigned this whole area here. He added this piece of glass. Instead of all the chairs lined up along the side, he put in some very comfortable couches. 
But really, the star of the entire trip was to sit back here, relax, probably have a cocktail, people smoked back then, and look out these beautiful windows. And there you would see the most beautiful countryside. As your train sped along, all the way from Chicago, through the Twin Cities, to the West Coast. The North Coast Limited was the premier train of the Northern Pacific Railway. It lasted up until 1967, when this car and the others that were bought in 48 were retired. In 1970, Carol Matlin, a Twin Cities guy, buys the car. He has a business in White Bear Lake, and he parks the car on a siding right next to his business and uses it for pleasure and for entertaining customers. In 1983, it was sold to the Lake Superior Railroad Museum and just recently got this brand new paint job and we'll finish up the interior of the car and we'll use it on our North Shore Scenic Railroad. This is working history. The Madeline family sold the car to us in 1983 and descendants still visit every year to take a train ride in their grandpa's car. And we're glad they come. The support for this car came from the Matlin family and other generous donors to do this restoration, including the Escanaba and Lake Superior Railway. We're very fortunate that this car will go back on the rails this summer. Why don't you come and join us? You can get tickets, you know. Pretty soon they'll be up for sale at DuluthTrains.com. In the meantime, everyone, please, it's not a task to wear a mask. It's the right thing to do, along with washing your hands, keeping a social distance, always cover your coughs, and let's take care of each other.